our earth is composed of rocks present in different forms like mountains canyons and river beds so hello everyone this is neha here and welcome to aditya kids education yes children today we are going to start a new and a very interesting topic that is rocks and types of rocks so what are rocks rocks are composed of one or more than one mineral and minerals are composed of one or more elements like iron nickel silver etc on the basis of formation rocks can be classified into three types and they are igneous rocks sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock so first we will talk about igneous rocks igneous rock is formed through the cooling and solidification of magma or lava so what is magma and lava for this you have to see in this picture this is our earth and our earth is composed of three main layers the upper layer is the crust next is the mantle and in the center of the earth is core or magma and each of this layer has its own properties compositions and characteristic so magma in center of the earth minerals are found and they are found in liquid state due to excessive heat and these minerals in the liquid form are called magma okay and lava the magma that comes out and flows on to the surface of the earth is called lava okay now see in this picture in the center of the earth there is a magma chamber or we can say minerals that they are in the form of liquid because of excessive heat yes and this liquid magma make a pressure to come out and finally it comes out by breaking the layer of mantle and crust and they comes out in the form of volcano yes and this magma that comes out and flows on to the surface of earth is called lava okay children so i hope now you understand the concept of magma and lava okay now lava begins to cool and hardens to form solid igneous rock okay please note the most important point that is igneous rock is the only rock in which there is no layers and no fossils are found okay now there are two types of igneous rocks and they are intrusive igneous rocks example granite okay another one is extrusive igneous rock and examples are obsidian basalt and pumice or some of you also say pumice okay so first is granite it is formed when magma cools below the earth's surface and the three main minerals in granite are quartz feldspar and mica and this hard stone that is granite is used for making buildings statues and streets okay next is obsidian it is formed by quick cooling of lava above the surface of earth and it is mostly dark colored and it look like a glass yes it is used 
to make cutting tools because of its sharp edges and also used in ornamental purpose. Next one is basalt or basalt. It is formed by rapid cooling of lava above the earth's surface. It is dark in color and has fine grains. Okay. Now please note the important point. It is black soil is formed by basalt rock. Okay. And we used crushed basalt in the construction of roads. Next one is pumice. Or some of you also say pumice. Both, both of them are same thing. So pumice is also formed when lava cools quickly above the surface of earth. And it has many holes made by the air trapped inside at the time of its formation. It is used as a scrubbing stone to remove rough dead screen from the body. It is also used by dentist as a powdered pumice for polishing our teeth. So children this was all about igneous rock. In the next upcoming video we will learn about sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rock. Okay so till then stay safe and be continue with my channel. Okay, bye-bye.